안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 오늘 마가복음 2장 23절입니다. Today we will read from Mark chapter 2 verse 23. 안식일에 예수께서 밀바 사이로 지나가시 제자들이 길을 열며 이삭을 자르니. And it came to pass that he went through the cornfields on the Sabbath day and his disciples began as they went to pluck the ears of corn. 바리새인들이 예수께 말하되 보시오 저희가 어째 안식일에 하지 못할 일을 하나이까? And the first he said unto him behold why do they on the Sabbath day that which is not lawful? 예수께서 가라서 다윗이 자기와 함께 한 자들 빛을 대신할 때한 일을 잃지 못하였느냐? And he said unto them, Have ye never read what David did when he had need and was in hunger, he and they that were with him? 그 아비아달 제사장 때에 하나님의 전에 들어가 제사장 외에 먹지 못한 진설 먹고 함께 한자 주지 아니하였느냐? How he went into the house of God in the days of Beathar the priest and did eat the showbread which is not lawful to eat, but for the priest and gave also to them which were with him? 또 가라서 안식일은 사람을 위해 있는 것이라서. And he said unto them, The Sabbath was made for man and not the man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Here, Jesus is talking about the Sabbath. When I read the Bible in Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16, And there, what it says is, 너희는 여호와의 책을 자세히 읽어보라. 이것들이 하도 빠진 것이 그 짝이 없는 것이 없으리니. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. 이는 여호와의 입이 이를 명하시오. 그 신이 이것들을 모으셨으며. For my mouth it hath commanded, and the spirit it hath gathered them. 아 저는 이 짝에 대해서 이걸 알고 있는데 굉장히 놀라웠던 것이. And the word here about mate, it was so amazing. 성경 읽어도 이게 무슨 말잘 이해가 안 가는데. Because when I would read the Bible, sometimes I would think, what does this mean? I don't understand. 그러니까 다른 다른 성경 읽다 보면 그딱 짝이 맞는 게 이해가 딱 가는 거예요. But when I read another part of the Bible, it becomes the mates to that scripture, and it comes together, and I know the meaning. 예를 들어 말하자면, for example, 속죄 제사를 드릴 때, when you give the sin offering. 이제 어떤 사람이 죄를 지으면 그 죄를 지은 죄를 깨달았을 때 허음 없는 암염소를 끌고 오라고 했어요. When a person has sinned and the sin that he has committed come to his knowledge, he has to bring a kid of the goats, a female without blemish. 그래 그 암염소에 그를 속죄 제물로 드리면서. And as they give that female goat as the sin offering. 그 다음에 암염소의 머리에 그 뭐야? And it says he shall lay his hand upon the head of the sin offering. 아, 전 이게 무슨 말인지 정말 이해를 못했어요. I had no idea what this meant. 내가 알기로는 목사 될때 안수하고. I know that during pastor ordination you do the laying on of hands. 장로 될때 안수하고. And you do the laying on of hands for elder ordination. 어떤 교회는 집사도 안수하는 교회. And at some churches they do laying on of hands for deacon ordination. 그래서 안수 집사 하라고 그렇게 말하는데. And so they call them the ordained deacons. 그래. 근데 왜 염소에게 안수를 해? So why do they do the laying on of hands upon the head of the goat? 염소가 뭐야 뭐 목사가 되나 장로가 되나? Are they ordaining the goat into a pastor, into an elder? 그 굉장히 궁금했어요. And I was very curious about this. 아무리 성경을 읽어도 찾을 수가 없었어요. No matter how much I searched the Bible, I couldn't figure this out. 어떻게 염소의 머리 안수를 하냐? Why do they do the laying on of hands upon the head of the goat? 근데 히브리 16장 21절에 보면 But in Leviticus 16 verse 21. 아, 그게 짝이 딱 설명이 나오는 거예요. The mate is right there. It explains these scriptures. 우리가 4장에서는 아론 두 손으로 삼년새 머리 안수한다는 이야기가 나오는데. And so in chapter 4 it just talks about laying the both hands upon the head of the live goat. 16장 21절 안수하는 이유가 나오는 거예요. But in chapter 16 verse 21 it gives us the reason for the laying on of hands. 아론은 두 손으로 삼년새 머리 안수하여 And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat. 이스라엘 자손 모든 불의와 그 범한 죄를 모든 죄를 고하고 and confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel and all their transgressions and all their sins. 그 죄를 염소의 머리에 두어 putting them upon the head of the goat. 아, 
이제 속죄 제사를 드릴 때 아, oh, when they give the sin offering. 양이나 연소 머리 안수하는 것은 doing the laying of hands upon the goat or the lamb. 우리 죄를 그 양에게 넘기는 것이구나. It is to place our sins upon the lamb. 그러면 예수님도 안수를 받아야 죄를 넘겨 받아야 하는 거 아니야? But then Jesus also needs to receive the laying on of hands so that he would receive our sins. 마태복음 3장에 보니까 But in Matthew chapter 3 예수님께서 요단 아, 제, 제 세례 요한 요단강 회개세를 베푸는데 John the Baptist was giving the baptism of repentance at River Jordan. 예수님께서 요단강에 오셨습니다. And Jesus comes to John at River Jordan. 이렇게 세례를 받으려고 하니까 And he wants to be baptized of John. 요한이 말렸습니다. John forbade him. 예수님께서 뭐라 하면 이제 허락해라. But what did Jesus say? Suffer it to be so now. 이같이 모든 의를 이루는 것이 합당하냐. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. 왜 의가 필요하지요? Why do we need righteousness? 우리는 죄인이기 때문에. Because we're sinners. 우리 의롭게 하려면 to make us righteous. 의가 필요한 거예요. We need righteousness. 아, 그때 요한은 속죄 제사를 하는 거죠. Ah, oh, right then, this is what the sin offering is about. John realizes. 하나님의 어린 양이잖아요. Jesus is the Lamb of God. 죄를 넘긴 안수가 필요하다. And to lay our sins on Him, we need the laying on of hands. 그래서 세례는 예수님이 회개할 죄가 있어 회개 죄를 회개하는 게 아니고. So this baptism was not for Jesus to repent of his sins. Jesus has no sins. 세례 머리 안수할 때. But through the baptism, when John does the laying on of hands, 죄가 다 넘어가는 걸 가르쳐요. All of our sins are laid on him. 그렇기 때문에 그때 성경을 보면은 So right then when you look in the Bible, 하늘 성령이 마면서 하나님 이는 내 사랑하는 내 기뻐하는 자라. This is the Holy Spirit came upon him saying, oh, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. 예수님 십자가에 못 박히시기 위해 우리 죄를 다 뒤집어 쓰는 그 과정이죠. This is the process of Jesus receiving all of our sins before being crucified. 예수 십자를 피하지 아니하시고 Jesus did not avoid the cross. He wore the sin. 요한복음 1장 29절에 보면. So in John chapter 1 verse 29. 이튿 날 예수님께서 요한이 예수께 자기 나오심을 보고. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, 보라 세상 죄를 지워는 하나님 어린 양. Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. 안수하는 죄가 못 넘어간 걸 가르치는 거. Saying that the laying on of sin, hands the day before laid all our sins on him. 이런 것들 하나하나 요한복음 있는 말씀하고. So these words one by one, the words in the book of John. 그저 마태복음 있는 안수하는 이야기하고. And the words about the laying on of hands in Matthew. 예비의 속죄 제사하는 것 하고. And the words of the sin offering in Leviticus. 이 안오면 이해가 안 가는데. All apart we can't understand them. 서로 연결이 됐을 때. But when they become connected with one another. 아 그게 확 드러나는 거예요. We can clearly see what this means. 예수님 사해를 받으신 것은 Jesus received the baptism. 우리 죄를 다 넘겨받고 so that all of our sins may be laid on him. 죽기 위해서 세례를 받으셨습니다. And to die in that he received the baptism. 요한이 말 보라 세상 죄를 지은 하나님의 어린 양이로다라고 말을 했습니다. That's why John said, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. 자 이제 안식일도 역시 그런 거라는 것입니다. And the Sabbath day is also like this. 안식일의 참 뜻을 모르면 When you don't know the true meaning of the Sabbath 그냥 율법대로 안식일 지키려고 애만 쓴다는 거죠. You just try hard to keep the law, keep the Sabbath day. 근데 성경에 말하기를 But the Bible says 골로새서 2장 16절에 보면 In Colossians chapter 2 verse 16 그러므로 먹고 마시는 것과 절 즐기나 월삭이나 안식일이나야 누구 너희를 편론하지 못하게 하라. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days. 이것들은 장래일의 그림자나 몸은 그리스도의 것이라. Which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. 여러분 구약 성경 대부분은 Everyone most of the Old Testament 창세기부터 요한 계시록까지 From Genesis to Revelation 그저 이제 구약 성경 대부분 하는 이야기는 No, what the Old Testament mostly is talking about 예수님을 나타내는 이야기. It's to foreshadow of Jesus. 이제 그 유월절 양의 피를 문설주에 바르면 If you put the blood of the lamb of the Passover upon the side post and the door post, you won't receive the judgment. 우리 마음의 문에 우리 양 대신 예수 죽인 그 피가 내 마음에 있으면 In which means that in your heart, when you have the blood of Jesus the lamb on the doors of your heart, 우리 심판을 받지 않는 거죠. We will not receive the judgment. 십자가가 내 마음에 있으면 When you have the cross in your heart, 내가 죄를 지었지만 Even though you have sinned, 이제 값으로 예수 십자에 못 박혔어. For the price of this sin, Jesus was crucified. 그래서 내 죄가 씻어졌어. There, my sins were cleansed. 그렇기 때문에 궁극적으로 이야기하는 것은 and so what it's continuously telling us is 실제로 이제 구약 나타나는 모든 것은 
예수 그리스도를 나타내요. Everything shown in the Old Testament is to foreshadow Jesus Christ. 예수도 우리 죄를 죽으시고 Jesus Christ is going to die for our sins and resurrect. 그걸 이제 구약에 나타내 보이는 겁니다. And that is shown to us beforehand in the Old Testament. 예수 우리 죄 때문에 죽으시기 때문에. Why? Because Jesus is to die for our sins. 구약 예언한 그대로 예수 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으셨어요. And as prophesied in the Old Testament, Jesus was crucified. 전부 다 예수 그리스도의 그림자. All of those things are foreshadows of Jesus. 그래서 안식일이나 so the Sabbath day, 월삭이나 or the new moons, 먹고 마시는 것과 or the holiday or eating and drinking. 이나요, through these things, 누구든지 너희를 편론하지 못하게 하라. Do not judge yourselves in these things. 이것들은 실체가 아니고 because these things are not the real thing. 장차 올 것의 그림자다. These are the shadow of things to come. 그러면 실제는 뭐냐? Then what is the real thing? 그림자가 있는데 실제는 예수님이다. There is the shadow, the body is Jesus. 예수님을 그림자로 미리 보여 주는 거다. Those things were showing us Jesus as a foreshadow. 이제 그렇게 성경 이야기하고 있는. And that's what the Bible is telling us. 양이 잡아 죽, 죽이는 것은 a lamb being put to death. 예수다 피를 내 죽음으로 우리 죄를 속하는 그걸 가르쳐. It is to foreshadow to us that Jesus is going to shed his blood to redeem our sins. 안식일은 뭐예 그림자냐? Then the Sabbath is a foreshadow of what? 안식일을 기억하여 그날을 거룩하게 지키라. You shall remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. 여섯 동안 힘써 내 모든 일을 하고. You shall do all your work and labor in six days. 제 신들이 여호와의 안식 아무 일도 하지 말지. And on the Sabbath day of the Lord, the seventh day, you shall do no work therein. 네 종이나 내 문화 유한의 계기라도 일하지 말라. Your men servant, women servant, even the guests of your gate shall do no work. 하시고, For the Lord created the earth in six days and rested on the seventh day. 자 이제 그건 뭘 가르칩니까? What is this teaching us? 안식일은 뭘 가르칩니까? What does the Sabbath day mean? 사람들 유대인이 막 무거운 짐을 짐니다. The Jews they are carrying heavy loads for working hard. 너무 너무 무거워서 막 끙끙 거립니다. The servants are laboring, working hard. 그런데 실제 안식일은 금요일 저녁 해가 지면 이제 안식일이 시작되는 거예요. The Sabbath day actually begins on Friday evening sunset. 네, 우리는 그야 이제 뭐 영시부터 이제 뭐 다음 새 날이 되는데. And so we, the new day begins at midnight, right? 근데 이제 성경 유대인의 달력에는 but in the Jewish calendar 저녁 해가 딱 넘어가면 새 날이 됩니다. The new day begins when the sun sets in the evening. 다음 해 넘어갈 때까지. Until the next sunset. 그리고 금요일 저녁까지 막 무거운 짐을 치고 가다가 until Friday evening they're carrying heavy loads. 딱 금요일 해가 딱 지면 and once the sun sets on Friday evening 안식일이 됩니다. It becomes Sabbath day. 모든 짐을 벗는 것이. They get to let go of all their heavy burdens. 자이 성경 뭐냐면. What is the Bible telling us? 이것들은 장래일의 그림자이나. For these are a shadow of things to come. 몸은 그리스도의 것이며. But the body is of Christ. 안식일이나 월삭이나 절기나 전부 예수님의 그림자라. The Sabbath day, the new moon, the holidays, all of these things are a shadow of Jesus. 그 안식일 어떻게 예수님의 그림자가? So how is the Sabbath day a shadow of Jesus. 금요일 저녁까지 긴장 무거운 짐을 지다가. Until Friday evening, you're carrying all the heavy loads. 해가 딱 치고 넘어가면. But once the sun sets Friday evening, 안식일이 되고. It's Sabbath day. 그때 모든 짐을 내려. Right then, you get to let go of all the heavy burdens. 남종이나 여종이나 문화 계약 유한의 계기라도. Men servants, women servants, even the guests of your gates. 그럼 인간이 지우는 가장 무거운 짐은 뭡니까? What is the heaviest burden that man carries? 죄의 짐입니다. It is the burden of sin. 죄의 짐은 더 무거운 거 있어요? Is 없어요. there any burden heavier than sin? No. 근데 그 죄의 짐을 지고 있다가 We are carrying the burden of sin. 안식일이 딱 닫히는 겁니다. And then Sabbath day happens. 그럼 그다 벗어. Then you can let go of them all. 안식일은 the Sabbath day. 예수 그리스도의 그림자다. Is a foreshadow of Jesus Christ. 이것들은 장래일의 그림자이나 which are a shadow of things to come. 몸은 그리스도. The body is of Christ. 그럼 우리 안식일이 되면 so once it's the Sabbath day. 모든 짐을 내려놓듯이 we get to let go of all the heavy burdens. 예수님이 안식일의 주인이다. Likewise, Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. 예수님을 만나면 once we meet Jesus, 예수님은 모든 죄짐을 벗는 그걸 
가르쳐 말한 것. Through the blood of Jesus, we get to unload all the burdens of sin. 성경에 그런 뜻이라는 거. That's what this means in the Bible. 근데 그걸 모르 그것은 그러니까 안식 막 지게 따지고 그렇게 하지 마라. And so, oh, don't be arguing and judging about the Sabbath. The Bible tells us. 이건 그림자고 실상은 예수님이다. This is a shadow. The real thing is Jesus. 예수님 앞에 오면 once you come to Jesus, 모든 죄의 짐을 벗는다. You get to unload all the burdens of your sin. 죄의 짐을 벗어 버린 것처럼. You are freed from the load of sin. 안식의 모든 짐을 벗듯이. Just on the Sabbath day, you free all your burdens. 예수님 모든 죄의 짐을 벗는다. Through Jesus, we unload the burden of sin. 그걸 나타내기 위해서 안식일을 만든 것입니다. The Sabbath day was made to show that to us. 그러므로 먹고 마시는 것이나 therefore in meat and in drink 즐기나 월삭이나 or in respect of a holiday or a new moon or of the Sabbath days do not judge about this. 뭐 먹는 거 먹지 마는 거 먹는 물고기 못 먹는 물고기 eat this don't eat this edible fish unedible fish 못 먹는 새 edible you know birds 월기 절삭 holy days 안식일 new moon Sabbath days 전부 다 예수님의 그림자 All these things are a shadow of Jesus. 그중에 하나가 안식일인데, and one of those is the Sabbath day. 안식일에 모든 짐을 내려놓듯이, just as you unload all the burdens on the Sabbath day. 나를 시대 몸에 예수님을 발견한 동시에, once you find Jesus who was crucified for you, 우리의 모든 죄짐이 내려지게 된다. All the burdens of our sins are unloaded. 예수님을 바라보면, once we look at Jesus, 내 모든 죄가 다 눈처럼 예시도진다. All of our sins are washed as white as snow. 내가 무슨 죄를 지었든지, no matter what sin you may have committed, 무슨 악을 행했든지, no matter what evil you may have done, 무슨 더러운 일을 했든지, no matter what dirty thing you may have done, 예수님은 다 사하셨습니다. Jesus has forgiven them all. 거기서 죄의 소리가 자유로워진다. And there we become free from sin. 저는 어릴 때부터 교회에 나갔습니다만. I went to church from a young age. 제 마음엔 안식일이 없었습니다. But in my heart, I had no Sabbath. 1962년도에. And then in 1962. 예수님께 제 사함을 받아 사실 깨달았습니다. I believed in Jesus and I was able to realize about the forgiveness of sins. 벗을 수가 있습니다. That's when I became free from the burden of sin. 제가 복음 전도를 시작했는데. And I began to preach the gospel. 제가 1963년도에. In 1963. 제 7월 달에 압곡동이라는 데를 갔습니다. In July, I went to a place called 압곡동. 예, 거기서 제가 9개월 동안 있었습니다. And I was there for nine months. 그때 한 제가 한 10월 달쯤 됐나요? And I think maybe it was like October. 저는 그때까지 내가 복음을 구원받은 한 명도 일어나지 않았습니다. Up until then, nobody got saved through me preaching the gospel. 어느 날 제가 이제 그 한, 집을 빌려서 있는데. But one day there was a house that I was using. 우리 집내 방이 제일 가에 있고. And the room that I was using was in the inside. 그 다음에 마루가 있고. And then there's the patio. 이제 안방이 있고. And then there's the master bedroom. 부엌이 있는. And then there's the kitchen. 이제 낮에는 우리 주인 아줌마하고 저하고 늘 집에 둘이만 있어요. And during the daytime, the landlord lady and me, the two of us are at home. 전 방에 막. And I stay in the room reading the Bible. 주인 아줌마는 담배를 피워요. And the landlord lady, she smokes. 시골에 돈이 없으니까. And she doesn't have any money. 담배를 심어가지고. She grows tobacco. 담배 줄기 많은 걸 엮어가지고 다 그늘에 달아놓고. And then she ties them up and she dries them out. 담배 잎을 하나 따가지고. And she gets a tobacco leaf. 피워요. And she would rub them. 피워가지고. She would rub them. 신문지를 찢어 올려가지고. And get a newspaper. 신문 담배 발라가지고. 담배를 피워. Roll it up, put her spit on it, and she would smoke it. 아, 계속 담배 피워. And she just smoke and smoke. 아주머니. I would tell her, lady. 왜 담배를 그렇게 많이 피워? Ma'am, why do you smoke so much? 담배 해로워요. It's bad for you. 특히 신문지 거기는 연이 있어서. Especially there is lead inside of the newspaper. 연이 들어가면 거기 저 사람이 그 백혈 적혈구가 막 망해져요. And if you get lead poisoning, it's bad for your blood. And she would say, "Young man, you don't know what you're talking about." You know, I gotta smoke. I have to. 참 좋으신 주인 아줌마인데. She was a very kind-hearted person. 너무 이렇게 머리 아프 담배를 많이 피죠. You know, she says I get headaches. That's why I have to smoke. She said. 그래서 저는 이제 안방에서 오전 중에 계속 성경을. But me, I'm in the room, and in the mornings, I would just read the Bible all morning long. 옆에 마루에 담배 계속 피웠어. And the landlord lady, she just sits at the patio, smoking all day long. 어떤 분이 아는 분이 왔어요. One day, somebody she knew came over. Oh, 잘 있었나? Oh, how are you? 어제 지내노. So, how have you been? 잘 되나? How's your business going? 방이 다 들려요. I'm inside the room. I could hear their conversation. And they were talking for a while. 아줌마가 말했어요. 
that lady said. The, to the landlord lady. Oh, is somebody renting out your little room? Yeah, the church minister is here. Oh, a minister? Yeah. Oh, does he have any church members? Just a few kids. So where is he from? He's from Daegu. 그 부인이 장사로운 부인이야. 나에 대해 자꾸 꼬집 묻 꼬집 묻는 거 보니까. And so that visiting lady kept on asking all these questions about me. 예수 믿는 사람이란 걸 알죠. I could tell she was a person who believed in Jesus. 제가 성경 책을 들고 나갔습니다. So I picked up my Bible and came outside. 성경을 쭉 가지고 복음을 전. And with the Bible, I explained the gospel to her. 그날 그 부인이 처음으로 내가 전도해서 처음으로 제 사업을 받았어. And that lady was the first person to receive the forgiveness of sins through my preaching. 그때 저보다 그분 나이가 열두 살, 그러니까 아 스물두 살더 많으셨어요. And back then she was twenty-two years older than me. 근데 난생 처음 내가 보험제 그 재산 받는. And she was the very first and first person to receive the forgiveness of sins through me preaching the gospel. 남편 앞을 못 보는 분이고. Her husband is blind. 장사를 굉장히 어렵게 고생하는 분이었어. And she sold things here and there, and that's how she made her living. 이제 얼마 전에 그 모친이 그 부인이 세상을 떠난 십 년쯤 됐는데. And about ten years ago she passed away. 얼마 전그 아들을 만났어. And recently I met her son. 아, 엄마가 그 아, 아버지 앞을 못 보니까. You know because her husband is blind. 엄마가 장사하고. She has to go out and sell things. Go to the mountains, get wood. 빨래하고. She has to cook. She has to do laundry. 짜증을 내고 막 개, 고통스러웠다. And her mother, his mother was always miserable, living in pain. 어느 날부터 엄마 너무 달라 막 기뻐하고 즐거워. But from a day he saw that the mother was so joyous and happy. 하루 종일 장사하고. She would go out work all day long. 저녁에 또 저녁 먹고 와요. And come home and have dinner. 까지 밤에 성경 공부. And then she would have Bible study till late. 또 이제 밤에 집으로 돌아가요. And then she would go home. 그때 아침에 또 와요. And she would come back the next morning. 저녁에 반찬 들고. You know, with some dishes for me. 아침에 가다 여우를 만나서 고생을 했다. And she would tell me last night on the way home I ran into a wolf. 그래 막그 얘기. And tell me these things. 너무 변했어. She changed so much. 그 부인이. That lady, she now began to preach the gospel, and people started to get saved. And after I left Apkokdong, she started stopped her business, and she went to preach the gospel. And many people received the forgiveness of sins through her, and some of them became pastors, and some of them became preachers, and she lived so happily. 그 자매님 벌써 세상을 떠난 지가 10년이 넘었는데. It's already been 10 years since that sister passed away. 잘안 잊어져요. And I can't forget her. 내가 복음을 전에 처음으로 제사함 받은. She's the first person to receive the forgiveness of sins through preaching the gospel. 그 뒤로 이제 계속해서 하나님 역사하셔서. And even after that, God continued to work. 최근에는 방송을 통해서 막 많은 방송을 중계를 해서. And recently, my sermons are televised in many TV stations. 대학에 숨는 많은 사람들 제사함 받는 그런 이야기를 듣는. And I hear so many people are receiving the forgiveness of sins. 아 지금도 그 부인 자매님 보면. Even now, when I think of that sister, it makes me so happy. I became a gospel preacher. And I used to live so pitifully. I received the forgiveness of sins. And my life changed. And people becoming happy through that. I've seen that so much. And this is something to be so joyous and thankful about. Jesus came to me. Now the Sabbath day itself. Once you come to Jesus. You unload all the burdens of sin. We get to have true peace and comfort. As a foreshadow of that, God said on the Sabbath day, you should do no work. But even though people don't carry loads, but in their hearts they're carrying the loads of sin. Then that's a person who does not know the true meaning of the Sabbath. The true meaning of the Sabbath. It's not about not working on the Sabbath day. But because Jesus carried all the burdens of my sin, I don't have any burdens of sin for me to carry. I am righteous. I am holy now. I am at peace. I am happy. 아버지께서 
from my father. He received the forgiveness of sins. And for three days, at that time, I felt my father I had known until now was not my father. My father now, this is my true father. For those last three days, he was so happy. And he was on the verge of death, and many people were visiting him. So all of them, he urged them to believe in Jesus. And my father that I saw for those three days was not the father I had seen before. He changed so much. It was so amazing. So after the Lord Jesus came to my heart, I changed, became a new person. And I'm so thankful. So through believing in Jesus, I got to be free from the load of sin. And we're able to live the bright, blessed life. And how thankful we are for that, I cannot say in words. And so I was doing this and that about 70 years have passed now. Recently, because of the corona, the whole world is going through hardship. And we had Bible Crusade starting the May of last year, but the many TV stations televised our sermons. 276 TV stations last May. And in the fall, 655 TV stations. And now, even many more TV stations are televising our sermons, and I'm so And now, even many more TV stations are televising our sermons, and I'm so thankful. Now, no matter what anybody says, the blood of Jesus was not shed in vain. He was died for our sins. And through that, all of our sins have been washed as white as snow. The more I think about this, I am thankful. And I was so thankful. How thankful I am. In the Bible, it tells us clearly that Jesus was crucified for my sins. And he has sanctified me. It is not that we did not sin. We don't have any sins. We have been made righteous. We have been made holy. Therefore, God tells us, he tells us being justified. Thank you. To save dirty sinners like us, Jesus shed his blood and died on the cross. And he forgave all of our sins. And he justified us. When I think about this, how thankful I am, I cannot say in words. Jesus, not only for the sins of Pastor Oksu Park, but all of your sins also. At the cross, he has sanctified them all. I hope you will believe in that Jesus. Have that Jesus in your heart. Because he has forgiven all your sins. Do not be deceived. So that you can let go of all of your burdens. Jesus at the cross, he forgave all of our sins. I give thanks to God who has given us the life to live glorious and blessed life. Truly, Jesus has forgiven your sins. He says that you are righteous. He says that you are holy. He says he remembers your sins no more. I hope that you will believe. Thank you. Be there where grace abounds more. Pastor Oksu Park's lectures on the Gospel of Mark will continue every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on CTN. For spiritual counseling, visit us at gnmusa.org. Call 1-888-466-9846 for more information.